Hi there. I'd like to show you a model that I designed in ZBrush and that I've tried to print on a 3D touch printer and some of the problems I had on the way. This model is based on the winding tube that forms a closed loop. The basic form was done using an algorithm that I programmed. I then imported it into ZBrush to round off the corners, apply a texture I made in Photoshop and add thickness. The result is this twisted winding blue structure here. Since the 3D printer cannot print in midair, I also had to add support structures shown in white. The Exxon software that came with the printer can also do this, but I decided to try this manually for a change. I've cut the blue model open here so you can see how the white supports just touch against it. Then I exported the model as STL files and had Exxon slice it, that is, convert it to a 3D printer command file. One of the types of problems you deal with occurs with the bottom layer, the raft, that's printed under the model. Depending on the material, shown here is ABS plastic, it doesn't always stick well enough to the platform, dark grey here, and it comes off and warps up. The extruder head can run into it, damage the model and become itself damaged. Here a piece of rubber just got torn off the head. This warping happens a lot with protruding parts and corners of the raft. But even if you take care to make the raft perfectly circular, it can still happen. I ended up adding a pan handle on one side, just so I could tie it down to the platform with a piece of sticky tape. There's also some warping here, I put some tape on it just to be safer. Anyway, it didn't hurt the model. The whole model took 20 hours to print. The footage you see here is time-lapse, the layers are 0.25mm each, which is medium resolution. The toast is done, let's get it out of the oven. This white stump is one of my supports that broke off during the print for unknown reasons. The rest of the support got printed in mid-air, which produced some white garbage material, but eventually it started sticking to the blue model, and the rest of the support got printed normally. That was pure luck, I guess. I had expected the blue structure to be able to support itself, and for the most part it does. But we do have some holes. Here's one. There's another one. I'll need to do something about this the next time. All in all, it wasn't a complete failure. It's a success in my book. Now I just got to pry off the white supports. Thanks for watching.